And a young mom begs her killer to deliver a message to her son. And tonight we've learned the shocking new details about one of the most prolific serial killers in U.S. history. Let's head back over to Aisha at the bridge. Yeah, Ron, this is absolutely crazy. So Samuel Little remembers so much about these victims and about these alleged crimes that he says he committed that the FBI, you know, they just can't help but to take these confessions seriously. Now we're learning about some new gruesome details. Ryan Kruger has been following this story and now we're we're learning more about a possible Atlanta victim. Yeah, so one of the victims, we were showing you her image right here. We actually showed this to you two weeks ago. Uh, Samuel Little drew a lot of these sketches of his victims behind bars. Well, tonight we've learned new details about the woman's past. She was a mother and a victim. Samuel Little says he killed this woman back in the 1980s after picking her up from a strip club where she worked in Atlanta. He picked her up at that strip club in a black Thunderbird, which he was driving at the time. So he described going to this wooded area between two roads. That's where he killed her and then took her into the woods and left her there naked, he said. And he believes that he left her clothes next to her body. Little says the woman was in her late 20s, possibly from Griffin, and was 5'8", weighed about 260 pounds. He's confessed to killing 93 women across the country, including three in Atlanta. The killer gives investigators chilling details about many of his victims, but this one line shocked even hardened detectives. But before he killed her, she asked him to send a message to her son. Now, he remembered that really chilling line, but unfortunately he didn't remember the message that was attached to it. It's been three decades, Aisha. No one knows who this woman is. I know, but still so much information yeah. three decades later. So why are they having such a hard time identifying her? Well, part of the problem is it's the victims uh, that, that Little allegedly chose in this case for this woman, for the other two Atlanta victims. There's no missing persons report. Little apparently chose prostitutes, strippers, drug addicts, women who maybe if they disappeared, maybe there wouldn't be missing persons reports for them. So FBI is hoping maybe someone will remember They'll recognize this lady's face. Remember somebody that disappeared from Griffin yeah. three decades ago. It's a long shot, but they're hoping. All right, so hopefully something turns of this. So yeah. if you want to get another look at that sketch, along with the others that we brought you last week, go ahead and head to 11alive.com.